say this though. We're gonna recap the Broncos and the Chargers oh, Monday, yeah. oh, Monday night yeah. Monday night football game <laughs> with uh, Mr. Story's Denver mm. Broncos versus Sean Ooh. Riley's San Sorry. Diego Chargers. <laughs> and with the uh, it's it had a, it had a I guess a, no Sean Moreno had a opening drive for a touchdown for a, on the very first play and then. Since then, it, it was have nothing. after that. It was just all San Diego Chargers. So, Sean, let me have the honor of asking you this: How? What did you think of how that game went out? That game actually went awesome. Um, I didn't see the first quarter, the first quarter, and second quarter because I was up in Thornton, California. Oh, what were you doing up there? Um, I had friends that invited me to a community center. They had oh, okay. Thanksgiving dinner up there. Okay, but anyways, back to the game. What did you think overall? Oh, overall, when I saw the third and fourth quarter. Yeah. Actually, it, it overall what I saw was awesome. The Chargers. Oh yeah, well, I mean, with, without Antonio Gates and also Vincent, um, Vincent, Vincent Jackson, Jackson and also without. Um, What's the guy's name? Wide receiver for Fresno State. Uh, oh, Ryan Matthews. Yeah, Ryan Matthews, but uh, uh, there's another guy, too. Wide receiver. Uh -huh. Ryan Matthews is the running back, but Mike Tolbert pretty much tore it up, though. Yes. He says same with Phillip Rivers, too. My, my, um, my, um, my, Mike Tolbert tore, tore it up. Same with Darren Sproles, as well. And, yeah, but Sproles didn't have that good... Um, but he had a screen pass, and actually Patrick Creighton caught a yeah, little wide receiver no, no. screen for a Patrick, touchdown, Patrick too. Patrick Creighton um, was over 100 yards, 111 yeah, yards. Yeah, thanks to that screen I mean, play so it was Tolbert, it was Tolbert and um, Patrick Creighton are the ones that really had a good game for the Chargers, being... Denver. Mr. Story's Denver Broncos. Sorry, Mr. Story, but Denver Johnson. went down the drain. So 35 to 14 was the final score without Antonio Gates, three Ryan Matthews, and, and that three other three wide receiver, Fresno State guy. I forgot his name. So if you can put your uh, comments in below, if I'm pointing below, then the comments box for YouTube. Help me out with the wide receiver for Fresno State because oh, I completely, definitely, definitely. I completely forgot his name. Like, yeah, literally. me too. But all I can say but is overall, overall, it was just a slaughterhouse it in was the queue. A, it was a very slaughterhouse because now Denver's three and seven, and now San Diego and, still has this chance. And for we're the playoffs. And actually, we're in third. We're just tied for second with San no, Diego. Actually, actually. They said, I thought we were tied for second, right? Yeah, you're tied for second with the Oakland Raiders. But that's not, but that's Who not, got but, slaughtered but, by the Pittsburgh Steelers? But that's not true. We, okay. We're technically in, we're technically, yes, we're technically, oh, kind of, yes, we're in second, but technically we're not in second, we're in third. Because Raiders still have... Um, that's that, yeah, that's true. They, yeah, they, they, the beat, they beat us. They beat us. So but we're, we're going to get we're gonna get to... Uh, but if we beat them in San Diego... Standings. We're going to take a look at the standings right here. Yeah, if we beat them in San Diego... So we're going to go to AFC West. So basically, yeah, Oakland Raiders, San Diego to the tie for second technically, but the Raiders own the tiebreaker against but, the Chargers so far. San Diego beats them um, this coming week uh, um, um, is even. Yeah, so especially without Antonio Gates, the star tight end. Oh yeah, that's and fact, that's got to feel good and, though. And without fact, with all those injuries and you picking up a key and my cell phone's going on, stupid cell phone. And uh, no, and don't don't call my cell phone if you want to try to get on my show. Call the radio show yeah. number. Call the two zero nine nine five four five five two six. You see that number right here? Or it's gonna be it's gonna be kind of off yeah, a little you're bit. Trying to tell them that's, the that's the number. Call in a two oh nine area code nine five four fifty five twenty six. But what so what was I gonna say uh, when we before we got oh yeah, yeah my cell phone was, yeah. Oh um Yeah, it was it was it was good it was a good game, you know. Good game for you, not for Mr. Story. <laughs> <laughs> but but you know the um I think the um, Raiders can um, Raiders lost this to Pittsburgh. In fact, the person I interviewed today that played for Delta, he's a Pittsburgh fan. Oh, really? And I, I thanked him. Um, I say, I, I say, you know what? Thanks. I'm, I'm happy for you guys that you guys being, um, you know, the Raiders. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but Chargers are a second half team. They can come back and go all the way to the playoffs 
Maybe to his Super Bowl this time. Ooh, bold words from Sean Riley himself. Now we're going to take a real look real quick at next week's schedule, see who the Chargers are playing Indianapolis in. Colts. That's right, Indiana, Indianapolis Colts in it's Indianapolis on NBC. Be there, be square. Yeah, NBC, that's right, the Colts. You so know how what? do you see that game going down? You know what? I probably won't get home in, uh, in time for I probably get home in time for the second half of the game mm -hmm. because I'll be at the Oakland game with Miami versus Oakland. Ah, very where nice. Miami is going to be Oakland. Wow. <laughs> well, uh, my, actually, the the last now. touch last touchdown for Denver though. We're going to talk about this though coming up in a. Talk about coming up at the top of the hour of fantasy football with uh, Brandon Lloyd getting the the uh, final touchdown for the Broncos. Oh yeah! In fact, talking about you know if I have to go early, I'm going to talk, talk about right now. I just picked up um, um, Spurls actually. Oh, so I'm out of the playoffs, but I still picked him up. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna hopefully he can stick around 10 o'clock for the fantasy football. Hour.